Hey everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duels of the Roses clown playthrough of the Gemini mod. Uh, today we're going, uh, my goal is to get all the way to Joey, is my hope, uh, and so that we can start farming him for Toon Worlds. Um, otherwise, there's not really much we need at the start of this uh, game. Our, our deck pretty well should cover us through most of the start. Um, we do have access to basically every tune that we could ever want. Except for like Parrot Dragon, but... Well that's gonna be big. Yikes, that's a 3800. Um, we'll just have to Dream Clown that one. So, the middle one is brutally strong. Um, I don't want to get rid of every single clown that I have so I can make more Soul Hunters, but I don't need that many clowns. She's moving that one over, which is good for me. Um, she has made, like, four Crimson Sunbirds. Um, she also is moving um, the big one first, so that's something nice to keep in mind. Um, that since it's being moved first, it'll be the first one that gets hit by stuff. If she uses it to attack stuff. Um, she should attack the card in front of it first. Um, so that's what I'm going to hope for. If not, um, it might just get spellbound for three turns. That was a choice. Okay, good. Okay. Her gigantic crimson sun chicken is um, spellbound forever, so. Now, the only thing we have to deal with is a the potential for a mirror wall. Um, so if we deal with a mirror wall, we win the game. She only has, like, one equip left in her deck. Maybe two. Also, her equips are completely useless for us. Since they're, um, like, Gus fans. Or no, they're Salamandras. Which is even more useless. Salamandra is very unhelpful. It's almost as bad as Invigoration. Oh, that's not good. That was an equip. I can't actually beat that right now. Because that's a 3300.
Okay. So remember when the last duel we uh, drew three equips uh, super quickly? Um, that is not happening this time. And at some point she's going to draw a mirror wall and it's going to be a problem. Okay, Shadow of Eyes. Not the biggest problem. Oh, I drew the Curse Breaker, so we'll be able to get through a card that way. Again, we've seen Soul Leader's animation plenty, or Soul Hunter's animation plenty, and we're going to see it a lot in this playthrough because it's just kind of how it is. Oh, there goes the equip. Well, unfortunately, we have to go around this card that's a 3,800. Skip this. There's going to be a lot of soul hunters killing crimson sunbirds in this fight. Um. Okay, she got rid of it. So, uh, she does take into account that I have a leader power that lets me move two spaces. So maybe we can just kind of end this quickly. It looks like it's over. Um, I don't think I want Shadow of Eyes, however good the card is. Um, it's not really that valuable to me. I don't plan on using a Mirror Force in my deck, so there's no real reason to have it. Um, but the extra leader power to, to have double movement for your creatures is really, really strong on Fiends. But, I mean, honestly, they kind of need it to compete with um, decks that can fuse Cosmo Queen. That's the real reason I gave it to them, um, is because I pretty much buffed Spellcasters way too much. Without even, like, really buffing Spellcasters, they just got better because they got the fusion for Cosmo Queen. And the Fiend fusions kind of suck. I mean, your best option is just to go for Summon Skulls. Somebody's been wanting a Summon Skull deck, which this definitely will not be a Summon Skull deck. Although, I would love to get some Toon Summon Skulls. So, maybe that's what I'll reincarnate for. Actually, I don't think I can even reincarnate for them. Um, What are they, 37? Eh... Judgeman. Okay. BRB. Okay. I changed what I reincarnated to something a little lower because I really was not finding anything decent. You can't get Toon Summon Skull from reincarnation in this, so. 
that's not very useful. The trap master can go and that's it, I think. But I wanted to put job change mirror in just because I can. Um, there's plenty of stuff that still needs to go out of this deck, so we'll we'll get to removing some of that slowly. Although, unfortunately, most of the cards that we want to get rid of or want to replace them with are not on available on this side of the campaign. Even if I could probably put in the password for like half of them. But I don't think we need to. Not with this deck. This deck is pretty solid. Especially since I did go and make my deck leader stronger to start with. Um, I will go and grab this change slime. It's so good that we might as well just put it in the deck because it's that good. Wow, this is a horrendous hand. Maybe Muyan Curry can run into a spell for me. Oh, that's not. I does the seven colored fish probably. It definitely is. So it's a 2800, 3300 in his leader range. Terrifying. Um, fortunately, Mako is not quite as strong as um, Mai is technically. Um, he's still quite strong um, and can play 2350s with multiple equips. Um, and the main reason he's stronger than her is because of the terrain changes that he has, um, and Beast Kings. Let's just make him an all-around strong opponent. Um, and then on top of that, he has pretty nasty, um, he has some pretty nasty fairies in his deck. But, honestly, the AI cannot use his deck to save their save his life so i mean to be fair the ai can't use anything that's more complicated than point and click so and even then it can't really use it very well yikes this 2850 but I can get over that. I am just gonna load up my graveyard for no reason. It's not like I have Mooka Mooka or anything. Um, but 2700s aren't big enough to actually do anything, so... I need to make them bigger before I... can actually beat most of the stuff in it. Well, I guess I can beat the 7 colored fish if they don't have an equip, but... That's not that great. Ugh. Excuse me. I sneeze badly. I like how I can burn a whale to death. It's a in the ocean. That's a definitely a thing that shouldn't happen. Um. I am appreciating how much uh, Mako is fusing. This is quite impressive. Um, since I don't have Tune... Oh, whoops, that doesn't work. We can do this. Yikes. 
Uh, what? Also, this is a trap dot gif. Interesting. This thing's about to get three bullets. Clown's getting put down. Ooh, poor clown. Mako is going off this game. This is like one of the best time things I've ever seen Mako do. Oh, I've never seen House of Adhesive Tape actually kill something. Okay, I'm just going to play a little more aggressively and try to finish this. Hopefully I can draw a soul hunter or something like that. That's a trap. The AI doesn't move stuff like that unless it's a trap. So since he likes moving to this side so much, um, I have a feeling he's going to just end up dead because he's going to move into the corner and then summon to his right, right in front of the summon skull, and then he's then the game's over. Although, I mean, I don't think there's really anything he can do to live here. The only thing he could really do to live is summon something stronger than Summon Skull. And that's going to require him to play a Fortress Whale with an equip. Which I don't think he's going to do. 
Like, best case, he probably plays a 7-colored fish with an equip, but most likely it's just not even going to be that. And then even then, it was just going to get dealt with by the infinite dismissal. Oh, he played a man-eating black shark. If he'd played an equip on that, that would have been pretty good. Although it would have still gotten infinite dismissal, and then he would have still died. Even if, um, like, a human were playing and they just left it there and didn't attack, um, they'd still lose because you just play on top of the infinite dismissal and kill them. It's a, basically an impossible position to get out of in this game. Even if you had a card like Mirror Force, you still lose. Um, because if you played Mirror Force, you'd Mirror Force the Summon Skull, and then the um, next card would, that you played would kill them anyways. The only thing that might... Uh, no, Mirror Wall wouldn't even save you. Yeah, there's no card to save you in the game. Um, the only thing I really want here is Tears of the Mermaid. I don't really care too much. But I got it, so that's good. Um, Tanya is not a bad card, um, but it's not a card I'm going to put in my deck. But honestly, it's a pretty decent card. It does some pretty good stuff for you, so... Um, now it's time for Toon Boy. Now for the hard part, getting uh, Joey to give us Toon World. Now he's pretty likely to actually play Toon World. He's, well, to put it on the field, he is very unlikely to actually use it. I know his AI is actually capable of using it, but, like, it's rare. He doesn't like to use it. Also, this field is not great for us. Like, the forest and the mountain is all bad for us. I'm going to send the Soul Hunter the other way, just to stop him from running when he decides to start running. Like, see, he'll play Gift of the Mystical Elf, which is great, but um, for some reason he doesn't like to use Toon World. I don't really need two clowns in my hand. Also, if this were Forbidden Memories, that would have fused into an Ushioni. Although, at least in this game, you can play a trap over top of a monster. Because there's so many times in that game where you just want to dump cards, and unfortunately, you can't dump cards and play a trap, or dump cards and play a Regeki. And in this game, you can. Even though Regeki in this game is horrendous in comparison.
Um, I haven't drawn a single equip yet, which is pretty bad. I mean, I guess I drew Curse Breaker, but Curse Breaker hardly counts. Yikes. I need to draw an equip. I did not draw an equip. Oops. Yeah, well. I guess I can fight him on the Sogan terrain, which is not great. I'm going to paralyze his creatures for a few turns since they're all wind, but if I don't draw an equip, it won't matter. And again, I do need to get over to him and actually destroy some of his face down cards. Which means I need to have pretty good control of the duel. And that means having a creature that's probably 3,700. Which means two equips. But I'm only 21 cards into my deck. Oh, that's a baby dragon. Next turn it's going to become it was a it was a baby dragon. It's not going to have a good day. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Just play something with a equip. Should be able to get over this thousand dragon. Now we just need to kill his toon world that is probably face down somewhere. Hopefully he's played one at this point. Um, we're also going to have issues because he has a whole bunch of winds and our creatures are darks so we get to just get wrecked by guardian stars basically we're gonna get spellbound on every attack and on top of that i don't want to kill too many cards because if i do um I'm not going to be able to get a Toon World. But I'm going to need as many of my cards alive as I can, because he's going to keep playing cards like that. Ah, yikes. I need to take this fight in a different field, and I don't have a way to change the field yet. I'm trying to beat him to get one. Okay, let's see if we can 
bait his guy of the dragon champion into fighting us. Well, at least some of those cards that he has face down have to be a uh, Toon World, so I just have to get over to him and kill him. Only problem is this, that doing that's going to be a royal pain. Um, actually making a Rose Spectre wouldn't have been the worst idea. It's at least a 2500 on that forest field that I don't want to deal with. Um, this is going to be a very long video. Oh, and that gets paralyzed even worse. And I'm at 10 cards in my deck. Yikes. Not going well. I need him to play a Toon World, which he's not going to do. Well, this will make things a little better. <sighs> Bonk. Well, he's back down to 4,000 life points. Um... Copycat's kind of useless. And he just wants to reborn the guy of the dragon champion. Which is fine, but... At the very least, we can steal the Monster Reborn and the Goblin Seeker Remedy from him. And the Gift of the Mystical Elf. Controller. Please don't do this. Hey guys, for six stars I can play a Summon Skull that I had to spend two cards on. Um, that baby dragon is going to take a whole lot of damage. Um, at this point I'm just going to try to kill him. Since this is going to take forever, and then in the next episode we'll just go and try and get Toon Worlds from him. Like, if I actually went and tried to go kill a Toon World now, um, my problem is, is that I'm more likely than not just going to end up hitting um, one of his traps or something. Okay, unfortunately I can't just use Pain Name here. Uh, stuffed animal might work. Hopefully. Hopefully he can get over that. Okay, cool. Red eyes. I 
kill him through his red eyes and then I win the duel. Hopefully, I have enough damage for that. Did buy a stuffed animal. Nope, I do not have enough damage to kill him through this. Um, regardless of if, if I killed a uh, Toon World at this point, um, it would not go into his graveyard slots, so... Go, Hain Hain! Hain Hain's quite good for scouting. Um, we can just put this face up defense and probably win. Okay. Gaia the Dragon Champion's fine. Should be enough to kill him. Um, let's give myself one chance to find what I want. Well, that's what I want. It's probably not going in the graveyard slots, but... It's a non-zero chance! <laughs> it might be there. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a zero chance, but... You know, maybe. Maybe I. there's enough stuff in his graveyard that doesn't go there, that go in the graveyard slots, that... It'll be there. I'm being very hopeful. Oh no, it's there. Nice. Okay. Well, let's make sure that we get it. Since I would like it for farming this guy. Perfect. We got it first try. Um, now, the only thing I really care about is maybe a gift of the mystical elf. And go for that triple, I guess. Oh, well, I missed. It's fine. We got Toon World. That's all I really cared about. Um, now we just need to go and beat him and get at least one more. I'd like to have three, but um, I only want to try to kill him like two or three times, or three or four times, so... That's going to be next episode. Um, so, I'm just go ahead and put that card in my deck real quick. Um, take out Dukarizo and Grisman. Teen World and Tears. Our deck is slowly getting better, so. Uh, next time, we'll get some more Toon Worlds um, and have a pretty solid deck for going through the rest of the game. So thank you all for watching and have a nice day.